Hi everyone, it's Alex from the Sigma, and today we're going to demonstrate uh, Ridescon new approach, uh, how to automate the management and deployment of laptops. They are shipped directly from the factory to your students, and there is no need for your IT team to touch them. The increase in demand for remote learning has made laptop management a lot more difficult and time consuming. Typically, you would purchase the laptops, have your IT team unbox them and prepare all of them, uh, disinfect those uh, keyboards, uh, pack everything back and uh, send to each one of your students. With this new approach we use, the laptops are sent directly from the manufacturer to the student. They just type the username and password and the whole configuration process is done automatically. Regarding costs, you can start with Intune for Education license, which is 51 pence per user per month in the UK. The license is only needed for the teachers. At the Sigma, we can provide uh, free Intune licenses for your students as part of a project. Another option is to use Microsoft 365 A3 plan which has Intune plus several other tools included as a cost-effective bundle. I highly recommend you look into it. And then you just need to configure everything with policies and applications. Now let's jump into a quick demo. Here we have a brand new laptop that came straight from the factory and was registered in Office 365. When the student first switches the device on, it will ask for a username and password and then it goes straight into auto deployment mode. The auto configuration mode will push security policies, configuration settings, and software deployed directly from the cloud. Microsoft Office, Microsoft Teams, and any third party applications are installed as part of this process. Even Minecraft for education can be installed as part of this process. I have accelerated the video because this can take between five and 30 minutes. Once the setup is complete, the user can access the desktop with all the applications installed. Everything is already configured. So we're gonna launch Microsoft Edge, and then you can see the user is already logged in. We just need to click on the allow to sync their data. But everything else is already configured. The users are blocked to not access a Microsoft Store, for example, they can't launch OneDrive with any personal accounts, like we can see here the message. You can't run PowerShell. You can't run uh, Command Prompt as well. This avoids all sort of like messiness with your system with people trying to play around and see if they can find a way of screw up the system. The settings in Windows 10 also, everything is locked for this kind of user, even control panel. And task manager, we also disallow them to queue applications. So if they try to end the task on purpose, also we are blocking that. And all the applications are installed, as you can see Adobe Reader, ready in place and uh, Microsoft Excel if we open it is already logged in as the user and Minecraft so it's already logged in as the user just gonna launch it again here so you can see but first time you launch it it logs in as the student no need to type any sort of username and password And the last policies are just the wallpaper, but the wallpaper you need to log in, lo I'm sorry, log out first to apply. But now you can see the wallpaper has been applied to the lock screen and will apply to the desktop as well. Uh, 
And to conclude, why should your school be using Microsoft Intune as a mobile device management? Uh, it will lower your IT maintenance cost as you need less time and people to manage your devices. Uh, the deployment process is automated and standardized. Uh, you don't need to send devices anywhere for setting up and your staff don't need to touch them. The license cost is also subsidized by Microsoft for the educational sector. And in my opinion, is a fairly easy uh, system to configure. On, uh, on the con side, I would say the reasons for a school that might not be using this yet uh, could be down to the learning curve involve, involved mastering it. Not everyone likes to learn new technologies and be ahead of the game. But don't let that be the reason your school is falling behind. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like this video. Um, we have several technical tutorials and other demos coming up soon. And if you would like to hire a Sigma to assist your school with uh, any IT projects and support, uh, check the contact details down below the video description. Thank you very much.